William and Kay, people are obviously incredibly curious about you. So let's start with the obvious. William, where did you propose? When, how, and Kate, what did you say? Uh, it was about uh, three weeks ago on a holiday in Kenya. Um, we had a little private time um, away together with some friends and I just decided that it was the right time really. Um, we've been talking about, about um, marriage for a while, so it wasn't a massively big surprise, but uh, I took her up somewhere nice in, uh, in Kenya and, uh, and proposed. It's very romantic. There's a true romantic in that. There is. <laughs> and you said yes, obviously. Of course, yes. Yeah. Thankfully. So and you knew you were going to do this from day one of the whole day, or you, you waited till the end? I'd been planning it for a while, but uh, as every guy out there will know, it's, uh, it takes a certain amount of motivation to get yourself going. So I was planning it, and then it just felt really right out in, in Africa. It was beautiful at the time, and I, just, I, I had done a little bit of planning to obviously share my romantic side. And Kate, you've been on holiday a while, so did you see this coming? Was he getting a bit no, nervous and jumpy? No, not at all, no, because... You know, we were out there with friends and things, so I really didn't expect it at all. I thought he might have sort of maybe thought about it, but no. It was a total shock when it came, and very excited. <laughs> and you produced the ring? Yeah. There and then? I did, yeah. I'd been carrying it around with me in my rucksack for about three weeks before that, and uh, I literally would not let it go. Everywhere I went, I was keeping hold of it, because I knew this thing, if it disappeared, I'd be in a lot of trouble. Um, and, yeah, because I planned it, it sort of, it went fine as you know you'll hear a lot of horror stories about proposing and things go horribly wrong it went really really well and uh, yeah I was really pleased that she said yes and it's a family ring it is a family ring yes it's my mother's engagement ring so I thought it was quite nice because um, obviously she's not going to be around to share any of the um, the fun and excitement of it all That's, this is my way of keeping her sort of close to it all and I guess we better we better have a look at it what what kind of ring is it are you an expert on what I'm uh... not an expert on, on <laughs> at all I've been reliably informed it's a sapphire with some diamonds but I'm sure everyone recognises it from uh, from previous times. So. And Kate, yeah, you're, probably, you're going to be an en envy of many, I would Well, imagine. I just hope I look after it. Yeah. She loses it, it's she's very, in big trouble. It's very, very special. Now, it has to be said, you both look incredibly happy and relaxed. We are, we are. We're, uh, we're like sort of ducks. It's sort of very calm on the surface, but the little, <laughs> little feet going under the water. But uh, no, it's been really exciting. We've, we've been talking about it for a long time, so for us it's kind of... It's a real relief and it's really nice to be able to tell everybody because especially the last two or three weeks have been quite difficult not telling anyone, keeping it to ourselves um, for, for reasons we had to. And uh, it's really nice to finally be able to share it with everyone. And you obviously have kept it a secret. So when did you, did you ask Kate's dad and what did you say and have you, what did your respective parents say when you told them? Well, I was, I was torn between asking Kate's dad first and then the realisation that he might actually say no dawned upon me. So I thought if I ask Kate first, then he can't really say no. So I, I did that way around and uh, managed to speak to, uh, to Mike um, um, sort of soon after it happened, really. Um, and then it sort of happened from there. Kate, what did your mum say? Well, I think as any, any mother would be, she was absolutely over the moon. And actually we had quite an awkward situation because I knew and I knew that William had asked my father, but I didn't know if my mother knew. So I came back from Scotland and um, you know, my my mother made it sort of, didn't make it clear to me um, whether she knew or not. So both of us were there sort of looking at each other and feeling quite awkward about it. But um, it was amazing to tell her and obviously she was very happy for us. You're, you're, I mean, one of the things that's been clear actually for a long time is you very evidently have a, you know, a close, close-knit family and family is very important to you. Yeah, no, it, it's very important to me and, uh, you know, I, I hope we'll you know, be able to have a happy family ourselves because it's been, you know, they've been great over the years helping me with, you know, difficult, difficult times and, um, you know, we see a lot of each other um, and, you know, they're very, very dear to me. People are bound to ask, you know, it's a bit of an obvious question, but children, do you want lots of children? Is, you know, see what comes, what's your... I think we'll take it one step at a time. We'll sort of get over the marriage thing first and then maybe look at the kids. But uh, obviously, you know, we, we, uh, we want a family. So, um, yeah. you know, we'll have to start thinking about that. Going back, going back to the start, because I, I think people, as I say, will be very curious ab about the totality of your relationship. When did you first set eyes on each other and what did you think? Well, that's a long time ago now, Tom. I'm trying to <laughs> rack my brain about it all. But uh, we were obviously, we met at university at St Andrews. Mm -hmm and uh, we were friends for over a year first um, and it just sort of blossomed from then on. Uh, we just spent more time with each other and had a, a good giggle, had lots of fun and realised we shared the same interests and just you know had a really good time. 
she's got a really nice sense of humour, which kind of helps me because I've got a very dirty sense of humour. Uh, so it was good fun. We had a, we had a really good laugh, and then things happened. And Kate, what did you think of William? I mean, he's clearly not quite the same as meeting your average, you know, <laughs> university student. Maybe it was. I don't know. But uh, w what was your first impression? Well, I. Actually, I think when, when you said I actually went bright red when I met you and sort of scuttled off, feeling very shy about, about meeting you. But, um, and actually, you, William wasn't there for, for quite a bit of, of the time initially. He wasn't there for Freshers' Week. And, um, so it did take a bit of time for us to get to know each other. Um, but we did become you know, very close friends from, from quite early on. There's um, a story that goes the rounds that uh, you had a picture of him on your... <laughs> wall as a, was, as a it child. It wasn't just one, there was like 10, <laughs> yeah. 20. He wishes, no. Um, no, I had the Levi's, Levi's guy on my wall, <laughs> not, not a picture of William, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it was me and Levi's, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so you lived, you ended up sort of in the same flat. Was that, if you don't mind me asking, before you were going out or? We, no, we, we moved in together as friends and then because we were living together, we lived with other, a couple of others as well. Um, and it just sort of it sort of blossomed from there. Really, we just saw more of each other, you know, hung out a bit more, and, and did stuff. So, um, yeah. You like my cooking? Well, your cooking's all right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's got better. Does William ever cook, or indeed do anything useful around? <laughs> to find useful, Tom. <laughs> Let's not go there. Yeah. You no, know, he, he does actually. He did cook for me quite a bit at university, and it would always come with a bit of angst and a bit of anger if something had gone wrong, and I'd have to. Um, Wander in and save save something that was g going. So being honest, is that a skill that's declining over time or improving? I would I would say I'm getting better at cooking. Um, Kate would say I'm getting a lot worse. I didn't give you enough chance to practice. Though, maybe. No, that is true. I get quite uh, quite lazy about cooking because you know when I come back from work and stuff, it's the last thing I want to do really is spend loads of time cooking. But when I was um, trying to impress Kate, um, I was trying to cook these amazing fancy dinners and all that would happen was I'd burn something, something would overspill, something would catch on fire and she'd be sitting in the background just trying to help and basically taking control of the whole situation. So I was quite glad she was there at the time. Slightly awkward for the other flatmates or okay? Uh, no, to be honest, they were, they were perfectly happy with it. They were used to it, watching me sort of catching things fire and you know, mm. they, were, they, they found it very amusing. But I mean having the two of you going out in the flat or did they just not bat an eyelid? Um, I think at first they were, they were sort of a bit surprised that it was what happened and uh, then they realised it was, it was really nice and it was good fun and, mm. and we got on really well. They were good friends of ours as well and so we, we, had, a good, we had a good giggle with them as well. Now I suppose a lot of people are going to wonder, the first meeting with the families, again, not necessarily your average meeting. Kate, what was your first impression of the family? Well, I was, I was quite nervous about meeting uh, William's father, but, um, but no, he's very, very welcoming and you know, very friendly. So yeah, I couldn't have it couldn't have gone easier really for me. But um, but yeah. meeting the grandmother, the Queen, not again like your average meeting with the grandmother. Was that you know nervous about that too? Or? Well, I I first met her at um, Peter and Autumn's wedding, um, and again it was in amongst a lot of other uh, guests, and um, she was very friendly, and no, it was it was yeah, it was fine. She's very welcoming. She knew yeah. it was. Um, it was a, you know, it was a big day, and everything was going on. Peter and Autumn were there, and things, and she's, uh, she wanted to meet Kate and uh, for a while. So it was very nice of her to come over and say hello, and we had a little chat, and uh, got on really well. You're clearly tremendously fond of each other's families, and I'm guessing that is a big, going to be a, well, uh, obviously transparently, it's going to be a big part of your life going forward, both your lives. Yeah, definitely. Well, um, as you know, Kate's, Kate's family, she's got a very, very close family, um, and I get on really well with them, and I'm very lucky that they've been so supportive. Uh, Mike and Carol have, have only been, you know, really sort of loving and caring and really fun, um, and have been really welcoming towards me. So I felt really part of the family, uh, and I hope Kate's felt the same with my family. People are bound to ask: You leave university, you've been going out a bit, and you split up, famously, all over the papers. What was all that about? I mean, people are bound to want to know. Well, I think, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> I wouldn't read over, I wouldn't believe everything you read in the paper. But uh, you know, in that particular instance, um, we did we did split up for a bit. But that was just, you know, we were both very young. It was at university, and we were we were sort of both finding ourselves as such mm. and being, you know, different characters and stuff. It was very much trying to find our own way, and uh, and we were growing up, and so it was just sort of, mm. you know, a bit of space and a bit of things like that, and it soon worked out for the better. And I think I, I at the time wasn't very happy about it, but actually it made me a stronger person. You find out things about yourself that maybe you hadn't realised or 
I think you can get quite consumed by a relationship when you're younger and you know I, I really I really valued that time for me as well although I didn't think it at the time looking back on it I there's you know, a chance I to recenter yourself yeah is that definitely you? yeah it's not all bad <laughs> <laughs> Sorry with that one. did you kind of always have at the back of your minds that you wanted to marry each other did that come slowly did you suddenly <laughs> decide a couple of weeks ago I mean people have assumed you're going to be married for a long time how did you both come to it in your head well, from my point of view, I, you know, when I first met Kate, I knew there was something very special about him, and that I knew that there was there was possibly something that I wanted to explore there. Uh, but we ended up being friends for a while, and and that just sort of was a good sort of foundation, because um, I do genuinely believe now, especially that, um, you know, being friends w with you know one another is a massive uh, advantage, um, and it just went from there. And over the years, um, I knew things were getting better and better, and uh, we went through a few stumbling blocks as every a relationship does uh, but we we picked ourselves up and carried on and, and we you know from when you had you know the odd problem when you were first getting to know mm. each other those have all gone and it's just really easy with being with each other and it's really fun and uh, um, I'm obviously extremely funny and she loves that so um, <laughs> it's uh, it's really good. You okay. say so yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay you are you know you're obviously upset when you, you split up but all your friends uh, both of your friends talk about you know this is there's a very substantial love that's built up over a very long period of time you know that's yeah. part friendship and obviously more than that well I think if you when you go out with someone for quite a long time <laughs> you do get to know each other very very well you go th you go through the good times you go through the bad times you know both both personally but also within a relationship as well and you know I think if you can come out of that stronger and um, you know, learn as I said things about yourself. Um, you know, it's certainly, it's certainly, um, yeah, been a good, a good for how many years? Uh, I lost count. <laughs> he did oh, take his time. Three, it must be, it must <laughs> be said. Did you ever want him to come on? <laughs> well, you no, we did. We've we've had our we've had our conversations, but I think you know it was. Um, we have talked about it today well, yeah. for a while, haven't we? We've yeah. talked about this happening for a day. So Kate wasn't in the in the dark over mm. it all. Mm. We've been planning it for you know for at least a year and if not longer. Um, it was just finding the right time, and that was what, you know as most mm. people say with couples, it's all about timing. And I had my you know my military career, and I really wanted to concentrate on my flying, and I couldn't have done this if I was still doing my training. Mm. So I've got that out of the way, and Kate's you know in a good place in terms of work and where she wants to be and stuff. And we just both decided now was a really good time. You're obviously going to enter this family, the most famous uh, you know, royal family in, in, in the world. Um, William's mother was this massive, iconic figure, the most famous figure of our age. Is that worrying? Is that, is that intimidating? Does that, does that, do you think about that a lot, both of you? You particularly, Kate, obviously. Well, obviously it'd be, um, I would love to have met her. Um, and, and she's obviously, she's, a, she's an inspirational woman to, to look up to. Um, obviously, on the th to this day, and you know, going forward and things, you know, it is, you know, it's a wonderful family. The, the members who I've who I've met have achieved a lot, and you know, very inspirational. So, um, yeah, I do. There's no pressure, because there's no pressure, because like um, Kate said, you know, it's about carving your own future. Um, no one's going to try and, you know, no one's trying to fill my mother's shoes, and, and she, what she did is fantastic. Um, it's about making your own future and your own destiny, and, and Kate will do um, will do a very good job of that. This is a life, you know, in the public domain to a degree that you can't escape. You, you both know that. You're obviously very, you know, you know it better than Kate does. You're obviously yeah. very protective of her. Massively so, of course. And, you know, her and her family. I really want to make sure that they they have the best um, sort of guidance and chance to see what life has been like or what life is like in the family, and that's kind of almost why. I have been waiting this long as I wanted to give her a chance to see and to back out if she needed to um, <laughs> before it all got too much because you know it's I'm trying to learn from lessons done in the past and I just wanted to give her the best chance to to settle in and, and see what you know what happens the other side. And I'm, I'm also glad that I've, I've had the time to sort of to grow and understand myself more as well so hopefully Does that mean I've <laughs> hopefully well? good to a good job yes. Yeah. So you, you know, there's been a conscious. I mean, part of the reason it's taken you this long is that you've both spent a long time contemplating the future, being calm about it, pondering it, thinking about it. Is that right? It is. Yeah. Well, we've talked about it a lot, haven't we? So it's always been something we've had a good chat about, and and you know, like we said, both of us we've come to the decision, you know, pretty much together. 
I just chose you know when to do it and how to do it and uh, obviously being a, a real romantic I did it extremely well. <laughs> okay just coming to the close people have put you know placed some criticisms of you you know about about your work and so on does, does that hurt how do you how do you respond to people who say those things? Well I think I, I know I've been working very hard for the family business um, sometimes those days are, are long days and and you know I, I think if I know I'm working hard and I'm you know pulling my weight both work and then playing hard at the same time you know I I think you know everyone who I work with I think can see that I'm there pulling my weight and um, that's really what matters to me um, and you know your family as you, you've said you're very close D does it hurt some of what's said or do you let it run run off your all your collective backs on the grounds that that's just what you have to live with well again I think if you the people around home are very supportive to us and you know those are the people that really matter to us our close friends and close family and I think if sort of they feel that you're doing the right thing you can only be sort of true to yourself and you sort of have to ignore a lot of what's said, obviously take it on board, but um, you know you have to be yourself really and that's how I've stuck by it really. It's a massive thing you're going into now, you know, I mean obviously <laughs> marriage is a big thing for everyone, but it's you know in such a public way, excited, a little bit terrified? Massively excited, quite happy when the interview's over, <laughs> <laughs> but no we're, we're hugely excited and uh, it's you know we're looking forward to spending the rest of the times, you know, the rest of our lives together um, and uh, seeing what the future holds. Okay, for you, do you you've you've had a long time to sort of contemplate this moment. Do you? Let's not let's not over egg the long. <laughs> <bit> <laughs> <off>. <laughs> no, it it is it's obviously nerve wracking because I do, I don't know what I'm um, um, sort of I don't know the ropes really when I'm was obviously used to it. But um, but no, I'm I'm willing to learn quickly and and work hard. And I should do really well. Yeah, we'll do very well. A lot of opportunities, obviously, for w within the family, you know, this huge ability to change people's lives for the better. I, I guess that's something you must have contemplated as well. Yes, well, I really hope I can I can make a difference, you know, even in the, in the smallest way. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to helping as much as I can. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. You look, as I said at the start, very relaxed, very happy. Good luck. Thank you.